Ethiopian language area. The Ethiopian language area is a hypothesized linguistic area that was first proposed by Charles A. Ferguson in 1970, 1976, who posited a number of phonological and morphosyntactic features that were found widely across Ethiopia and Eritrea, including the Ethiosemitic, Cushitic, and Amatic languages, but not the other scholars have since pointed out smaller areas of shared features within the larger area of 1989, Breeze 1988, Sass 1986, Tosco 1994, Wedekind 1989. One of area's most notable features seems to be the use of the verb say as an inflected dummy element for an uninflected lexical base Applyard 2001, Cohen et al. 2002. Hayward also pointed out patterns of lexicalization as evidence of a shared linguistic unity across the area in 1999. Though Tosco earlier accepted that the area's status had long been well established 1994, 415, he later challenged Ferguson's work as flawed 2000. He concludes that the Ethiopian language area is not valid and suggests that Ferguson's work reflects the politics of his time, when there was a strong emphasis on Ethiopian unity, as reflected in Donald N. Levine's book Greater Ethiopia, The Evolution of a Multi-Ethnic Society. A. Yemen has shown evidence of pragmatic similarities among languages of the Ethiopian language area 1997. Goldman has proposed that the use of a generic auxiliary is an area feature that includes Ethiopia, but also other languages, to its west and northwest. Similarly, Cohen, Simon, Senel, and Van Hove have examined the grammaticalized use of say and do as an area feature of what the scholars call East Africa. Wutong has examined pronominal relative clauses as an aerial feature in the Ethiopian language area. Tolmerium Fufotiso has done a broad comparative study of verbal derivation across the area. The existence of the area is still debated.